here we are Fede and I, I limped this queen six for the simple fact that we were just getting started uh, this is our best of three and I really don't want too much to do with that hand at the moment although I just picked up a just picked up a gut shot texting him right now Best of three. Good luck. Um, all right. I'm going to fold just simply because I was not present for that hand here. Let me get rid of some of that background noise here. Um, for those of you watching here, a couple things. One, my computer's older, so the screen recording software can slow down Bovada here. I've closed out pretty much everything else. Um, my microphone is super sensitive so it picks up just everything in the world <sighs> thought process here uh, I think I am gonna go with uh, half pot there is a flush draw on the board to the flush also I am drinking coffee These type of boards always confuse me here in terms of what I sh what I should be doing here. You know, um, I'm getting out of this hand, but uh, I'm not always certain what I should be doing with that with that hand. Uh, I just didn't know my playing style. I three X through the first two blind levels. Uh, I either go to uh, two and a half X or two X at the 2550 and then I'm two X any level above that any level above that those kind of were in the shoving shoving point second pair I'll go along with that it would be interesting here if we bolt the five hits hmm I'm gonna hum to hum to hum to hum to hum to I'm gonna call this Putting myself in a hole with Mr. Fede right off the bat. Hmm, okay. That was an interesting bet with nine, sir. Not sure I'm fully in love with that play, but I really didn't put you on a five. Oh, really, sir? Okay. Hmm. Any type of smaller four, but I think looks just super trappy. No. Oh. Oh. Unlucky, I would say, Fede. I would like, uh, you know, the nines. That, that was such a pedestrian hand um, that put the, I mean, those pedestrian hands throw me so much of a problem. <clears throat> Seeing the rationale to do stuff. I'm not treating Fede like, uh, you know, oh, Fede, Fede, Fede. What a connected board. Yeah, 
So I'm going to have to butt into here. Is it possible you have Queen Jack? You know, I'd say it's a possibility. Uh, that really fucked up my program, though. Hmm. My nice two pair. Well, Fede, you're going to get your tank on me on this one here. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to call that. All right, let me just think this through, though. Okay. Mm. How did he play this? Didn't go after the flush. Uh, Tenny definitely would have checked back. Uh, the nut flush draw, I think he potentially would have checked back. Um, 8-7, he would have checked back. Uh, so what am I beating? Just a random King X at this point? Maybe not even a random King X? Yeah. Uh, easy fold. I think that 10 may have, may have actually saved me. I'm curious to find out what you had, sir. <coughs> That's just one of those hands where I think, you know, everything looks good. And the reality is that that King 9 was just so weak at the end there. I think he expects me to do this with just a variety of stuff. <laughs> uh, if I set my price low here, knowing him, okay, I think he's going to take advantage of me. Chops to you, sir. If I was playing somebody else, the large river bet implies that you uh, that you have it. We're gonna, this is one of my bluff three bets. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. Sorry about the coffee drinking here. By the way, with my coffee, doing a little coffee cult. That's with a K and a K. K coffee, K cult. Uh, anybody who's interested, uh, excuse me, sir. Anybody who's interested in the keto lifestyle, I'm doing uh, what? Uh, okay, doing a quarter stick of butter, a full scoop of uh, collagen, a full scoop of keto base. That's from Perfect Keto. That's exogenous ketones. 
and I'm doing uh, I want to say 100 milligrams of L-theanine I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly but uh, mix that up in my little blender and we're in business here okay about relatively dry pot uh, just for you guys watching I on drier boards I see bet half pot otherwise I tend to be in the two-thirds to uh, 70 percent range on a c-bet this is the kind of game that could have been frustrating in the fact that I had him stuck there a little bit and then he kind of just battled back but well this is awfully wet so the question is in theory, could we get blown off or something? This is a hand that I would definitely want a little bit of uh, feedback on. I think I'm obligated to make a bet here. I think I have enough equity if I'm check raised to go along with them. Oh, that's sick. Me and my second two pair. Ah, yeah. Well, Fed 8, if you're bluffing me, congratulations, but I'm just. I just I I think these three hands that have run out like that, you know, run out to the uh, you know with the king nine, and then run out to where it was two three four five, and that hand I don't think I had much of a choice but to fold those hands. Jack seven is at the bottom of my range. No, I'm not interested. I know Josh, you'll watch that. You'll wonder why is Tim folding Jack seven? I know. I know. I would say that's at the bottom of my range, and I'm between calling and three betting. My range is about 60%. And that's. Yeah, that would be depending on opponent. A little weaker opponent. I'm probably sticking around with that hand. I'll three bet this hand. I've added in five, six. Six, seven, seven, eight suited into my three bet arsenal here. King ten suited, it's nice. Be calling a three bet here. Fed hasn't done much three betting. Has he, I think he's three betted me once. Ah. Not getting away from this hand. I would get away from this hand on a shove. Thank you. I think I just like brought that into existence. Um, but yeah. I think I'm behind his range a great deal at that point. This is, like I said, this is one of those that I've added in. I don't think I've been out of line with the three betting. I think I've three bet once so far. <laughs> yeah. 
And we're pretty much at push fold at this point. When I'm, we're 10 to 15 big blinds effective. I play off of a uh, chart that's uh, that I've modified somewhat from a heads up player named Mercenary. Uh, I could show you what that chart is, but I have a feeling like I would run the risk of ending this recording, and I don't want to do that. But uh, and Fede, I believe, plays off of a similar chart. So. Good hand for a nice hundred dollar C bet here, just to kind of test the water for you. King seven. We will open and fold to a shove. This is one of those hands. Again, I I am almost hoping you limp into me. I'm calling this, but I'm not terribly excited to be calling it. Oh, that's interesting. I think he would... Yeah, proceed lightly is what I think he's doing at this point. Let's see if my king could get the show down. Yeah, look at that. 6 2 is something I would normally open, but playing at this, you know, playing with this strategy, I'm not opening that. I would say the mercenary plan is. See if we can just push them off something here. Now we got the double gut shot, huh? All right. I think he thinks that if I had a sex and he would have limped into me, I would have shoved. I don't think there's any way I could have represented an ace there. Because um, mainly, yeah, I'm going to get out of this. Uh, mainly on this hand here, uh, and again, you can't see this chart, I'm shoving pretty much ace seven and lower, uh, and I would have raised up ace anything higher. So uh, for me to represent having... The ace on that board is going to be it's going to be difficult. I think he also knows that I play that way. I think a rando I would have a little bit easier time getting away with that. Yeah, and we're going to call this. But Fede, I'm going to wait a few seconds. I think there's no choice but to call it Jack Forcer. Look at you sucking out on the big dog. Well done. Okay. We've accepted. Game one is in.